Well, if you're saying that the president held out over wall funding to show who was in <coughs> charge, I think that's quite a, a bad statement to make about any uh, leader in our country. Uh, but what I do say is let's go forward, get this done. The leader mentioned lessons learned and hope that the people know that we cannot hold our public employees hostage because we have a disagreement. Uh, for how many, 34 days is it now over one month having an impact on their lives? So I don't want to make any characterizations of the president's motivation. You'll have to ask him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Speaker Pelosi, did the president un underestimate you politically? And can you assure the public that there won't be another impasse in in three weeks? Well, I can't assure the public on anything that the president will do. Uh, but I do have to say I'm optimistic. I see every challenge or every crisis as an opportunity, an opportunity to do the right thing for the American people and at the same time make people aware of what the decisions are that we have here and hopefully that will make everybody uh, come together in a way that is unifying for our country. I can't characterize the President's evaluation of me. I, do. I think he thought no one should ever underestimate <laughs> the Speaker as Donald Trump has learned. But I also, I, in addition to that, and I think Nancy would be the first, our Democrats stayed totally unified. And certainly in the Senate, they made huge, you know, many attempts to take some of our Democrats and get them to side with them. And the unity of our two caucuses really worked because I believe the President himself believed and was told by a couple of his advisors, you've written about them, that, oh, just hold out and we'll get the Democrats to crack and join us. In the Senate, more relevant than the House because they have the majority. He was unable to do that. And I think after three weeks, as the toll mounted and it became clear, we helped make it clear to the President, to the public, that the President was the one in charge of the shutdown, that he just, um, he, he knew that it was a lost cause. In our caucus, uh, the beauty of it is the mix. And I always say, when people say to me, oh, you're so good at organizing your caucus. No, I don't unify our caucus. Our values unify us. And I'm sure it's the same in the Senate. And the fact is, is that our diversity is our strength, the differences of, in so many different ways, including differences of opinion. That's our strength. But our unity is our power. And that is what maybe the President underestimated. Thank you, everybody.